actually studied my, my undergraduate, my bachelor's degree was here at SFU in the business department. And I remember as I was going through, I was becoming more and more interested in environmental issues. And I was kind of unsure as to why I was doing a business degree. It didn't really connect for me. And there was one moment when I was taking a, a marketing class and it was, um, you know, halfway through the class, I was trying to select a topic and I suddenly stumbled onto this whole area of green marketing. And that's when it all really clicked for me. I suddenly realized that everything I'd been doing and been studying up to that point in business, whether it was marketing or international business or trade, all of that is hugely important for understanding the environment. And I got really excited to, to see that I could apply that business background to understanding environmental issues and in particular people, how to, how to get people's behavior and consumption patterns to be more in line with sustainability. After that, after that moment, actually it was only probably a couple weeks later, that I discovered the, the resource and environmental management program here at SFU, which is where I now teach. And I discovered that, I started to look at what they do for their master's program, and I, was, I thought it was perfect. It's exactly what I needed to do to make that bridge from the marketing, the psychology, the sociology of my background in undergrad, going into this master's really allowed me to, to bridge that and to develop those skills and apply them more directly to the environmental issues. Sure, yeah, I mean one of the uh, primary areas of research I'm involved in that really gets me fired up is looking at human behavior. And because we have lots of environmental problems uh, with you know, gas emissions, air pollution, and so on, um, and all of these are really a result of human behavior. So a lot of what I do is look at trying to understand people. Why is it that we engage in the behaviors that we do? What is it about our, our lifestyle? That, uh, you know, how are we trying to create our own identity and, and, and sustain the way we interact with people? And looking at that, then I can understand, you know, why is it that someone might buy a hybrid vehicle or a Hummer, for example, which have very different environmental impacts. Um, so some of my research is I'll go to people's homes and I'll talk to them to try and learn about what kind of vehicles they own, what kind of energy technologies they own try to understand their own stories as to why they own those things and how it is that they may potentially uh, come to value different things, maybe things that have environmental benefits such as hybrid vehicles or maybe even not using vehicles at all but, but using transit. So a lot of my, what I really get excited about is going to people's homes or, or, or contacting people through surveys and learning about what makes people tick. My background is a mix of uh, business, marketing, psychology, sociology, I mean I use from anything like that to, to understand the, again, the human dimensions of sustainability. Because there's, there's a lot of work on the science which we need to understand how uh, our activities are harming the environment and what the impacts are going to be. And there's a lot of work on the engineering about what kind of technologies we might develop in order to help our society. But there's really a lack of uh, understanding about people. Right? When, when we need people to buy these technologies and to use them or to stop using bad technologies in the first place. Right? There's, there's really a lot of need for understanding better what it, how it is that people work and how the human part of the system can change to be more sustainable.